have been more than 80,000 cases of the coronavirus verified worldwide, and health experts are warning people today that it's only a matter of time before the coronavirus spreads throughout the United States. As Fox 12's Brenna Kelly reports, there's a lot of concern among travelers. Right now, officials with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommend avoiding all non-essential travel to China and South Korea. They're also advising older adults and people with chronic medical conditions postpone trips to Iran, Italy, and Japan. As you can imagine, these types of warnings are hurting tourism businesses. I spoke with several travel agents in the area who are starting to see the effects of the coronavirus. Right now, it's a wait and see. Business at Focus on Travel in Beaverton has changed, and owner Paula Hobble isn't quite sure why. I'm comparing it to last year, which was very, very busy. You just couldn't get the work done. It was so busy. This year is steady, but it's not off the wall, and I think that some people are probably holding back until they see where this is going to go. She's talking about the coronavirus. It's the only explanation for why this time of year, typically their busiest, feels a little different than last winter. When we first heard about the coronavirus, it, it was hard to uh, make any judgment because you had to see where it was going, and I think that's still the case. Hobble says she has some customers asking if they can postpone their trip at no charge. At Focus on Travel, it's a case-by-case -case basis. Other agencies do allow trips to be rearranged. While I did speak with travel agents who have experienced cancellations, Hobble says she hasn't seen any due to the coronavirus yet. I've had people consider it, but so far I have, uh, I have not. Now I'm hesitating because Sometimes people will tell you something else. They'll say, oh, I have a job offer or, you know, I had one of those. So, <laughs> and I wondered if that was, you know, the real reason. As outbreaks grow and spread internationally, work in the travel industry may remain challenging, but Hobble is hopeful people stick to the facts. Travel is an adventure and there is always something going on. And it's not to make light of it, but just to say it is the world and there always will be things going on. These travel warnings are evolving. If you're planning a trip abroad and have questions about whether it's safe to enter that country, you can visit the CDC's travel health notices online. You just click travel here and it has a list of all the different warnings and alerts for the countries we mentioned. If you must travel to China, take the normal precautions you would to avoid illness. That's what the CDC is recommending right now. Reporting in studio, Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon.